Hey everyone, it's Tiffy. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys. Uh, some of you may remember a while back when I stopped doing the channel, uh, I mentioned that I was going to start a clothing line. Little update, I did. It launched on my 30th birthday in March and we had a whole party for it. We I actually have a video that I've been meaning to put out for my 30th and the Mooney Me launch, um, but I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, but it was a mixture of kind of like a gallery show showing off the pieces on the wall and a birthday party. And we had performers and dancers who wore the pieces and performed for everybody. And it was like this whole thing. It's the biggest thing I've ever done for my birthday. And I thought, you know, it's my 30th. It's the big one. May as well just, just go for it. So since then, we have launched three to four pieces, and if we still have a lot of stuff that we've designed and have patterns for, but the production has been so slow because we're making everything here in LA, locally and ethically made, so it's been a struggle. And I have so many ideas for it, um, and I've just been kind of like on the DL because it hasn't, you know, taken off. I didn't expect it to take off, but the production just kind of just stopped because it was really hard for us to find something that worked. So I thought that I would kind of like document everything and um, I am doing a Halloween collab with my friend and artist, um, Heather. She has a YouTube channel and an Instagram and I'll put links in the description for that. But she actually works with me um, for IS Cupquake. So she uh, comes in and does our illustrations and we work together and she was helping with like flat sketches and stuff for the clothing line and I thought, hmm, Heather loves Halloween. She is like the essence of Halloween. And then I thought, I really want to collaborate with other artists and I feel like she'd be perfect to collaborate on a Halloween collection because I love Halloween and so, so does she and I thought it was just a perfect match. Um, so we designed some pieces together. So I'm going to show you guys, I'll put up on the screen some sketches that we did. These are the first original sketches that we both did and then we had a little meeting together and chose which pieces that we wanted to create for this collection. And then we took multiple trips downtown and sourced fabrics and um, I didn't get to document all of that because this idea came after. I think I may have gotten one on camera. But I thought it would be a really fun experience to show you guys what actually goes on designing clothing. Because it's something we don't really think about, you know, the clothing that you wear. Somebody designed that, somebody sewed that. Like, there's a lot that goes into an article of clothing and I just wanted to like enlighten you guys and show you guys the process. So once we sourced all of our fabric, then we went to meet with our pattern maker and her name is Patty. She is amazing and she's so, so sweet. Hey, so I am on my way to go meet Christina and um, Heather, who we are collaborating with for this Halloween collection. And um, we are gonna go, we've been working on this for, I wanna say already four months. So the pattern stage takes a little long um, sometimes, especially since we're not accessible like every single day. So we only get to meet with her like once a week, if that. Um, so we've already met with our pattern ma maker, I wanna say like four times already for this collection. But we're finalizing some designs. We are, um, we changed a couple of them up and we're still approving. We're about two months out from October. So we're planning on shooting this um, in August so we can release it in September. We're three months out from October. But yeah, just keep in mind this is like one of many meetings that we have with her and it's, it's a, quite a process. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. Um, it can be frustrating at sometimes, but um, but yeah, let's go pick up the girls. I'm 
around, like, it actually doesn't. Cute. Some more patterns approved. Yay! Yay! One step closer. Just a tiny step. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're testing them out. <laughs> I think the seat is too far back. Right? It feels like it's too far back. It's like almost like at the butthole. I felt like this was like... I can really feel this seat. Yeah. It's like being pulled back instead of like... Yeah. Because the seat is too far back. Are they on back? No. They're not on backwards. They're too Yeah. Right here. Right here. Yeah, it's not like, it's, it's not like pattern. pulled, it's like pulled. All this camel toe talk. <laughs> okay, we're headed to approve, hopefully the last samples for our Halloween collection. I forgot the camera in the car, so I was just running it back up here. Let's go meet up with the girls. Okay, last samples. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we get approved. And then off to production, okay. or not really, we got a lot more other things to do after that. 10,000 steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Gonna try it on. Oh my god, it looks really nice. It looks really cute. Like the shape just completely changed. Like it does, even though it's loose and flowy, it's mm -hmm. more formed. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a ghost. It does. It does. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah. We did it! Yeah. We're all approved for everything for our collab oh, together. Oh. Yay! <laughs> now for the hard part. I know, right? So getting the pattern made is one of my favorite parts because it is kind of easy. It's the easiest part to do too. So um, next we had to figure out production, which to me isn't that fun. <laughs> so since we're doing production here in Los Angeles, it has been very, very hard for us to find a company to create our pieces. A, because we are very picky and we wanna put out the best quality, B, because it's small quantity and a lot of the manufacturers don't want to take on small quantities. They want to do like large jobs. And C, there's not that many out here. Everything is outsourced to other countries and we as a brand don't want to do that. So it's been pretty tricky uh, to try to make it work. So we went through like three different manufacturers and this was all in a span of like a really long time since March, uh, even before March, because the sample sizing and the samples take like two to three weeks to make, especially when you're a smaller quantity. If they get another job, they're gonna just keep pushing you back. Um, and normally the samples aren't right on the first time. So it would take multiple weeks to get a sample that just didn't work. So we had to kind of just figure it out. After the third one, I wanted to just find a seamstress, not a manufacturer, just like find a seamstress here in LA who knows and has experience um, and who can produce them because it's only small quantities. It shouldn't be that hard, right? So we found one and we absolutely loved her and she did great work. But since she works from home and there's and she's only one person, you need to have multiple types of sewing machines to be able to do different types of like like this. This is called a marrow edge or a baby overlock. Uh, and you need a different type of machine to do this and to do like this seam that's inside and to do like different seams. So she didn't have like the heavy duty machines. She, um, you know, she had what she could afford. She did great work, but you can tell in the quality of the sewing that the machine, it was, it just didn't perform and it didn't sew the quality that we wanted. So it's like we would, we felt like we were moving forward and like that we would catch a break and then it just 
you know, we would start back where we started. So it's been this like constant, just like, we're going forward, we're three steps back. We're, we're forward, we're, oh my gosh, yes, it's working. Nope, and we're back to square one. You know, it was just a really frustrating process to try to find something and honestly, I felt like it just wasn't gonna happen. Because not only am I doing, you know, because this clothing line was just something that I wanted to do for fun and designing and create. And like the production side of things wasn't really something that I anticipated for. Uh, I thought it was going to be much easier finding a manufacturer to create these products. But when you create a product that you're so passionate about and that you care about, like, and if the quality isn't there, then I... I can't put something like that out, you know? I have to be proud of what I put out. So that was a huge struggle and I didn't film much of it because it was just a very, a very low time for me, especially with like all of the, the like YouTube algorithm stuff and like views dipping and I'm just like, it's like, it was just a really bad place. And I was just trying to move forward and see things in a positive light. So we were literally hanging on by a thread, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, and one of Mario's brothers brought up the idea of Mario's mom sewing for us. So Mario, my husband, his mother has been in the sewing industry for over 20 years. And um, she's a seamstress. She had a job that she would go to. Um, it was like a seasonal thing. And this year they didn't call her back for work. So she has been looking for work. And she was very apprehensive to, you know, take on this project because she didn't want to disappoint either of us. And she was very just nervous about it. I mean, I, I totally understand. Like, I, I would be very nervous about that. <laughs> And the reason why I wanted to share that with you guys is because I felt like I really did feel like all the cards just kind of fell into place. It's like we're trying to make it work and this whole time Mario's mom has been there and she's been in the industry for so long and then all of a sudden one year she, she is looking for, for work and I'm starting this clothing line and I'm able to give her work that she knows. And I just felt like I wanted to share that because it was so mind blowing to me that it's like the universe was speaking to me. And so it, it gave me the drive to continue and keep going. And um, his mom decided to do a trial um, and it was the, um, the Halloween collection. Okay, so we're on our way to go downtown and check out a sewing machine. I've dragged my husband into this. I am now a part of the journey. You are I've now been, part, well no, you've I mean, been part I've of been the journey. I've been a part of the journey since day one. But um, we've enlisted the help of your mom. Yeah, so a little background with my mom. She's been in the sewing industry for, I want to say over 30 years. And um, why is it up? And um, she used to sew like all sorts of stuff for us as well, ever since that we were growing up. And you know, I remember in the, there was a, uh, an opportunity for us to work with her, and we presented it to her. And she was very timid about it, and very cautious, and she kind of a bit a bit of anxiety. She's like, I don't want to mess up for you guys. I don't know if I could do this. So we just left it at that. Yeah, we didn't want to like stress her out. Yeah, and now fast forward like six months later. Uh, we're still struggling. Yeah, and we presented her to her another opportunity. We were like, listen, this is what it is. We, we gave her the material, gave her the pattern, and she like knocked it out of the park. Yeah, we're she like, did what? so good. Yeah. And we're like, little Rosita has been under our noses this whole time. Yeah. 
and she has two of the three machines that that you know that she needs but right that's why right now we're on the way to go look at that third machine yeah so she'll have the trifecta the trifecta of machines yeah um and yeah which is not a it's not a cheap machine either so we're gonna go check out the machine and we're gonna go meet his mom there in downtown um and hopefully it's a good fit so many machines here this is the one that we're thinking of getting super heavy duty it's used or this one we got it we got the machine yeah they're really knowledgeable and your your mom did a little test she loved it she loved the store oh my god we wanted to film her but she she didn't want to be on camera no she's like i don't look good today i was like <laughs> mom it doesn't matter you, you look fine but she was so cute she's she like, was like in heaven i know she was she's like oh, i want to try the machine she's like doing it i was like oh yeah. she's so cute so it's getting delivered tomorrow we're gonna see his mom is gonna come in tomorrow and try to make a sample for us and then we'll see where we're at with that. Yeah. Thanks for investing in in the clothing line and believing in me. Of course. I mean, honestly, this is the way it should be with everybody. Instead of making it in China. B. <laughs> well, listen, we're, we're supporting our family. We are. And it's, you know... It's, and it's, they're supporting just, us too. Yeah, it's going both ways. It's something that's very special, you know? And like, not a lot of people could say, hey, I work with my family and we both work together to make this happen. Yeah. So. It's a good feeling. Yeah. So we ended up buying her a machine and we have it at our office. And she comes in and uses it like a couple times a week um, because she like switches back and forth between machines. But we just invested in her and it felt really good to do i mean we're probably not going to make that money back for a while <laughs> through the clothing line um but to see her come into the office and to be able to work with her son and me and her other sons who are there in the office has just been i know she loves it she loves to see them uh every day and um, it's just been something that's amazes me okay so normally oh that looks really pretty lighting is really nice today so normally I wouldn't vlog right now because I'm like really on edge like today was such a frustrating day as far as like production goes, it's been a struggle. And today my patience was tested. <sighs> it's like things just keep popping up and things just keep like we're just every time we think we're overcoming something, every time we think we're like every time we're overcoming a hurdle, it's like a new one is right there. And it's just a lot. Um, you know, we bought the machine yesterday and um, Mario's mom came in. She sewed the top. It came out great. Um, and we were ex we were waiting for like new fabrics to be delivered today. And we had a courier pick them up and like some of the fabric wasn't even on the courier, the stuff that we needed. And they were like missing three other fabrics. So it's like, we had to pay for another courier for tomorrow to pick them up or we're just trying to figure out solutions and it's just like a lot of things like time sensitive this is like a Halloween collab that's coming out so the pressure is really on to follow through with production and get everything out in time um, and we started with six months in advance so um, yeah it's just been a whirlwind of emotions and obstacles to overcome. I just found out that we don't have another machine that we need and like I can't keep spending all of this money on you know this line. We're not like super profitable right now. We're not even we're in the red right now with this 
clothing thing and like it's just a passion project for me and I love doing it but it's so stressful it's like I just don't know the production side of it it's a lot to figure out and I haven't figured it out and when <laughs> the moment that I think that I figured it out no slam down again So now we're off setting some of the production. Um, we're giving it to our pattern maker who does do production, but the pricing is a little bit higher. Um, but honestly, like I don't think we'll be able to get it out in time if we don't move forward with it. So we're giving her some of the pieces to make. And you know, there's like four different people making different items. <laughs> four different like production um cruise I guess so yeah I just wanted to do a little entry um I know I wanted to film and document everything there was no way I was gonna film today I was uh, testing my patience so much and uh, I mean Mario is like such a he's such a saint he's such a sweetheart he was helping and like describing to his mom and translating and it's really hard too because there's a language barrier she doesn't speak english i don't speak spanish all the patterns are in english so it's just a mess right now um so yeah i just thought i would do a little entry i'm feeling i just don't know what i just don't know anymore like feeling pretty hopeless um so yeah, I really hope we figure things out. Uh, we were supposed to have a shoot to shoot all the stuff for the website, all the samples next week. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to have to push it. And pushing it even further just means our release is going to be even further, which means I don't even know if we're going to sell any of this stuff because it might be too late for Halloween. So, yeah. I'll update you guys soon. Looks like there's rainbows coming out of my head, which makes me a little bit happy, but all right. See you in a bit. We just got in some of the shirts and we're gonna look at them right now. Um, they're silk screen shirts, so they're like the easy ones because they're not like the cut and sew where you got to make a whole pattern. Um, so these were the easy one from the collection, and we just got all of them in. And we're about to check them out for the first time. These are all the smalls? Or they're all, all the sizes. Small. Wow. Well, for me? Yeah. Thank you. The shoes. Oh, yeah. The tags are so cute. Yeah, Yay. <laughs> Yeah, adorable. Cute. Oh, well, it, should it? Should we decide on like names? Yeah, let's go over. Mm -hmm. you can okay, I'm gonna bring my list. laptop then. Okay. Oh yeah. Here it is. Oh, that is the. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on. Yay. Yes. <gasps> Cute. Oh, this is such a cute fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fit's really nice. The fit is super cute. Okay, now we're gonna come up with the names for all of the stuff that we did. This one I was thinking of calling it like Forever Dead or like I'm Dead or I don't know. <laughs> Mood, I mean, Mood. it's like dead, you know? I'm gonna just set this here. So yeah, while Mario's mom was working away at 
getting these pieces sewn, we had gotten our samples in and we had to do a photo shoot um, so that we could present the best quality of these pieces. So um, we had a little photo shoot at our house, in our garage, and our backyard. <laughs> Today is shoot day! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just got back from the gym, but um, Christina just showed up. We're setting up in the garage right now. Hi! Hi. Shoot day! Yay. Moody day! Moody day. We're setting up all of our Halloween. <laughs> this is Mario and I's like Halloween stuff that we have from I'm so glad you've kept this throughout the years. <laughs> right? Because it literally, I mean, it comes right? more than once a year it's now. It's perfect for the shoot. Yeah. So, and then we get to decorate for Halloween after this. So I'm like emptying everything out, trying to see what we have to work with. And then Christina's setting up the clothes rack. She just picked up the samples today. Uh, and I haven't seen them yet. She said they came out okay. They came out okay, right? Okay. Good? They came out great. Great? Okay. <laughs> They're great. I haven't seen them yet, so we'll see. Okay, here's one of the pieces. The kitty cat hoodie. Yeah. Oh, how cute. The embroidery looks so cute. I love the purple. It looks it good. <gasps> Yay! The skirts are here too. Here's one of them. What about the ghost dress? It's in here. It's in here? Oh, it's in here. Oh. This was the one I was worried about. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh, it looks so cute. It came out really cute. Oh my gosh. Her little eyes. <gasps> okay. Nice. That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Makeup's done, and look who just got here. Hi! Hi. Ah, ah, ah. Ruby! <laughs> what about me? Are you gonna model for us? <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I just need to get this camera stuff ready, and then I'll be ready to go. Yay! Ah. And I'm wearing the ghost dress. It's so cute. Ain't your boo dress. Ah. Ain't your boo. Ain't your boo. I gotta remember the names. <laughs> Cece on the iron! <laughs> <laughs>
girl. <laughs> there is a fog machine. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's so cool. <laughs> so say hi. Hi. hi this is a fan guy. Hi, video. Look at this setup. Ooh. I ain't your boo. <laughs> okay, now it's time to edit all of those photos and then put them up on the site. Okay, I'm in an office now and we have the photos. I have them pulled up here on Bridge and I'm about to look through them. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through some of the pictures, see which ones we want to use and then edit them and hopefully get them up on the site today or tomorrow. Let's do it. Okay, so I just got back to our house. I've chose all of the images, brought them home with me on this little card here, and I am so excited. I just want to edit all of the photos right now. I actually posted um, the first image on, on the Instagram for moodyme.la, and people are loving it. Their reception is great so far. Um, so I'm so excited. This is the first time that everyone is getting to see everything. And like, I just want to get these photos edited and I'm feeling so happy. Um, I feel like all of the, it's like this moment where like all of the struggles and all of the headache and like all everything that we've gone through to make this collection happen um, is worth it. And um, it's like, <laughs> such a great feeling I know like it's only the samples and um, but some of the pieces we actually have done and completely ready um they just need to be like, like pressed and packaged so we're gonna be doing that tomorrow but like all the other pieces are in the works right now and like it feels so great and I'm so happy and so excited and now I feel like we're finally finally Things are just like falling into place now and we're getting back on track. And um, I haven't updated you guys at all on anything. Sorry the light's like super red and harsh. This is my lighting down here in my studio. Um, and I have my computer right here just about to go in hard. I am expecting to just work on these all night and finish everything um, so we can get it up on the website and start selling everything. So I am just... Feeling really grateful right now, just everyone who's helped make this possible, and um, my husband like shooting us all day yesterday. And Dios, the other photographer you guys saw, our friend, um, his shots he helped us with some amazing like outdoor shoot um, stuff that you guys will be able to see. Um, and just like just everything, I'm feeling very grateful right now and just super happy. So. I'm going to use all of this positive energy and put it into the photos and edit them and have a lot of fun doing it. Um, let's get to work. Feeling energized. It's like I'm, I'm going to start my second shift right now. I'm coming home from a full days of work 
to start working again. I live for it though. one of my other favorite parts of the photo shoot um, but I still haven't gotten to edit all of the photos there's so many photos <laughs> so we actually officially launched our Halloween collab um, this past weekend and uh, we launched with four items and we still have more items to come as you guys saw from the shoot and I think that we're gonna be able to launch all of them this week but I really do hope that you all enjoyed this type of video and um, I, you know, I've been spending so much time on this clothing line and I haven't really filmed too much of it and I just thought, I'm just gonna make some content out of this because even though it might, see, it's just like a hustle, you know? And I really want to share with that you all and just so that you have a little more of an idea of what goes on to make a piece of clothing, to make a garment. How many people are involved in it? And and just give you guys a little more insight on, you know, if you do support the clothing line, like what goes into it and how everything is made and how everything is handled with love, like legitimately made with love by moms. <laughs> My moms. And if you guys do decide to purchase a piece from the clothing line and support us in any way, just thank you guys. I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me and being such amazing, amazing fans and amazing, we have an amazing community. And um, I definitely want to do more stuff like this in the future because honestly, I didn't even know what truly goes on to produce clothing and I do have my reasons of why everything is made here in LA you know and maybe that'll be a separate video if you guys are interested in hearing that I can make a whole different video about that so if you are let me know uh, leave a comment down below leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this type of things I know it's it's something totally different and I don't know why I didn't think of sharing and recording everything. I was just so caught up in the moment of like learning trial and error and just emotions, but I'll definitely be more conscious if you guys want to see more stuff like this. Um, I have a lot more planned in the future, but for now, our Halloween collection is live and I hope that you guys love the pieces just as much as, as I do and as everyone who has had a hand in this does. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe for more content like this um, because there will be more in the future. And I hope you guys have a great day. My name is Tiffy and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Love.